Hello, my, my name is Mihai, and today I will read to you the story Douglas has stumped me. My younger brother is called Fred. Fred's very interested in animals. He talks and asks questions about animals all the time. Fred's really interested in parrots, pandas, polar bears, and penguins, and lions, and leopards, and rabbits. But Fred's favorite animals live in the sea. He has posters of jellyfish, whales, dolphins, sharks, and octopuses on all the walls of his bedroom. Look at my picture, Mom. This is, this is an octopus. Why do octopuses have eight arms? Or are they legs? Why are there little cups on their arms? Fred doesn't stop talking when I'm doing my homework or when Mom's trying to read quietly. Shh, Fred, we have to say sometimes. Last Saturday, Fred wanted to go to the library in town to get a book called The Most Dangerous Animals in the World. He wanted to get a DVD called Leopard Spots 2. But Mom said, no, Fred, you don't look well. I want Aunt Jane to come and see you. You've got lots of little red spots on your face. Aunt Jane is a doctor. She knows all about red spots. Fred looked in the mirror. But I'm not ill, and my spots aren't scary, and they don't hurt, he said. Do you know, Mom, leopards have spots, and there's a kind of dog called a Dalmatian that has hundreds of spots, too? Yes, I know, Mom said. When Aunt Jane saw Fred, she asked, Have you got any spots on your body, on your back, your shoulders, or arms? No, Fred said. Octopuses have got eight arms. Did you know that, Aunt Jane? They've got three hearts, too. Have they? Aunt Jane said. Can I look in your ears now? And do you know, Aunt Jane, a blue whale is the biggest animal in the world? Fred said. Yes, Fred, Aunt Jane answered. But can I look in your eyes now? That's right. Look up, good, and down. And dolphins are the cleverest animals in the sea, Fred said. Hmm, Aunt Jane said. Have you got a cold or a cough? No, Fred answered and started talking again. Sharks are the most dangerous kind of fish. When a shark loses a tooth, they can't go to the dentist, but it's okay, another tooth grows. Do you think sharks have toothaches sometimes? Fred, stop talking, please. I want to look in your mouth now. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, Fred said, and then started talking again. And dolphins are good at bouncing balls on their heads. Do you think have they have headaches sometimes? I don't know, Fred, Aunt Jane said. Then she smiled at him and said, well, you haven't got a temperature, but you need some medicine, and you mustn't go shopping today. You can go to the shopping center to get your book and DVD on Monday, okay? Aunt Jane opened a bottle of green medicine and put some on a spoon. Friend didn't like medicine. He stopped talking because he didn't want to open his mouth. You must open your mouth now, please, Fred, Aunt Jane said. But Fred didn't open his mouth. Aunt Jane had a clever idea. Do you think whales have stomachaches sometimes, Fred? She asked. Fred started to say, I, when Fred did that, Aunt Jane quickly put the medicine into his open mouth. That's horrible, Fred said, but then he smiled. Hey, I like this medicine a lot. It's the nicest medicine in the world. Can I have some more? Aunt Jane laughed. No, she said. You can have a glass of orange juice, Mom said. But then Fred started talking again. Well, don't drink orange juice, but they do have stomachache, I think. They have very big stomachs. Do you know they eat? Shh, Fred, I said. Shh, Fred, Mom said, and shh, Fred, Aunt Jane said. Goodbye.